Well, all right. Uh, I guess to avail uh, and replace one of the horses. That's a tier three, so we could uh, replace the head thrasher or the dragoon lance. I'll let you pick. Damage from six to nine, shred to three, stun to two, knockback no longer a thing. But to be honest, knockback knockback is kind of a uh, pointless anyway because the thing is always dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, what are you naming it? The Pie Smasher. No. Okay. No, something much more juvenile. What is it? You can look in the inventory and find out. I will. Give me a second. Why not? It's accurate. Oh, fuck you, stick. It reminds me of that. You know, just because of the word stick, it just reminds me of that fucking... Of the fucking Moogle with dwarfism we got going on. Uh, yeah. Did I tell searching you about for, that? Yeah, one of the pies was searching for the crystal. All right. Just a fucking... And, it, and, the worst part, and the worst part is his name and his quote. His name is Kupag. His quote is Kupagers. <laughs> Oh god. God no. damn it, Kenneth. Like he's he's tiny anyway. So. He's like he's like twelve inches tall. What's he gonna do if so an enemy? Ooh, I open a door and this happens. Suddenly, a structure hums to life and begins to spew a skull splitting fog through the room. <coughs> ah! Somebody destroyed that thing! Ooh, I'm guessing there's an area of effects in that room. Yeah. Looks like it's not even an enemy, it's just spewing poison. Well, Might be I, other have, well about. I have a potential way to help with that. Ah, there we go. So yeah, in that room, everything is poisoned. See if we can shoot things... No, it's outside as well, I can see the cloud. Alright. I'm going to send our tanks in to try and... Those. Okay, maybe a sick of Raleigh and Silk Step. I'll try to have Panara break things that are on the way to the Haberdasher so we can just go and kill it swiftly. Thank you. Meanwhile, I have you met the fuck you stick. Happy. Yeah, one damage a turn. Let's see if we can't break something in the way. Panara. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, I can't, I can't even silk step in this place, it turns out, because every time I turn I take damage, so... I'll break her out of it. Can you get rid of the table? Panara's already gone. Oh, other people can attack scenery. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna... That... That... Don't even go that way anyway. Alright, are they going start heading this way? Oh, hello there. Oh no. Oh boy. Scatter? Oh. It isn't just on turn anyway, so you can probably kill it. Anyway, I'm gonna have a Vela hit up to this. Something in the way. A table. Destroy this damn table. 
There we go. Ah, oh, that's just why did you have to miss? Alright, I'm always gonna heal Thanos off that. For anything, I really need to heal Thanos off so he needs yeah, to I'll, get Yeah, I'll, I'll move him back. And then I'll move him back even go. more. <laughs> I can't move that fire. Can you can you move Marissa and get a shot on the uh, the thing? It's only got three. If you get rid of that, we won't be poisoned at least. Or not? I meant the Hammer, the, the boss enemy. They also take damage every turn. Neat. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on, give me a. What's he gonna shoot it? Marisan, shoot the thing. He did. There you go. <sighs> okay, that's taken care of. Breathing is the best. Alright. Some assistance. Yep, on it. Alright, I think she can choose the fuck you stick now. Ah, shit. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these things. This might be bad. Vader might be about to get an injury. More weldlings. Oh god! That's why there's so many of them. That explains that then, doesn't it? It does. Wardrobe. Gonna send Thanatos up to wall with her. I don't think it's gonna matter. Do as much damage to her as I can before she goes down. Another one. She dodged it. Holy shit. Oh no, she, no she's down. The, yeah, she still took uh, damage over time. Alright, yeah, retreat.
You left him in the fire. That's fine. He can move. <laughs> Hello. Alright, finished it. Nice. Well, at least we got a lot of experience out of that. That's extra health. That's Give it to Avela since she just lost some. Who knows what her penalty will be? It said minus two health. Ah. For the rest of the campaign, so. Ah, well, he's grown stronger. Valkyrie to archery. <sighs> the Novella won't stop po poking at the bandages. How did things shake out? They've been disassembled. That's a polite way of putting it. We'll melt down what we can. Say so it pulled it off then. Good, we can rest for a bit. What do you mean, a bit? The source of our trouble has been thoroughly dealt with. Nothing is crawling out of there again. This workshop was not the only one ever in operation. And Murthagi's ability to lie to and bide their time is one of their greatest strengths. I hope I'm wrong. But in case I'm not, and in case I'm not around to help next time, not around? It's a thing you have to consider when you reach my age. In case I'm not, keep your wits about you. Eleven years of peace? Nice! We're gonna be old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're already like up oh, in like forties and whatnot. So fifties now. Oof. Nice. During the years of peace. Oh god, everyone's starting to look so old. It was true. The cheese was incredible. Panora has acquired was acquired by a family of cats for a few seasons. What? She would watch them stalk birds in the mornings and marvel at what complex systems nature entailed. Fuller Mill Smelter offered to take discarded Draven armor and Morthagi parts, melting them down and reforging them to be used against their former masters. Murasan finally translated The Mist Within, one scholar's quest to explain the origins of Grey Plain. Unfortunately, either Murasan wasn't quite brilliant enough to understand it, or it was utter raving nonsense. You know, since this is five chapters, like, I'm pretty sure this group is not going to be... Like, Aradia and Panara are not going to be in the group by the end. Probably. Thanatos found planting trees to be a relaxing pastime. He'd returned to his home with a lighter heart, a softened smile. <laughs> he just gasped. Avella had a kid! Avella but who? I don't know. Avella Dracanis' son has reached adventuring age. Numoth Velenfair has joined the Black Storm as a warrior. Oh, I'm going to have the end. Yeah, you, you want him? You want him? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take control. Alright, then what shall be his opening ability? Hold on, I'm going to select uh, alterations. One thing. For him to Karnas. Speed down block is that? Well, he yeah, keep on going, going with this, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's uh, keep going with it. New gear. Jesus Christ, we yeah. got a lot of shit we can spend. Yep. Yes, we have. So, the fuck you stick is maxed out already. <laughs> well, of course it is. Ooh. 
all these new bows and everything. Lamy ready. Alright, so how much it would cost to max out a rather crossbow? Half of our heart would. But everything else, barely anything. Gotta get Panarin upgraded staff. Let's see here. Do you want to get a new moth, a big ass hammer, a mace, or an axe? I figure we, get, we, I could, mean, get, we could get him a tier three of any of those. His mother really enjoyed the hammer. <laughs> So get him a hammer? Okay. Big hammer. Big hammer. Giant baller. Are you buying or am I? Uh, I'm already on it, so I could hit the craft item button if you like. Sure. Alright, let's see here. I kind of want to get Mercy in some better armor. Yeah. Then, then just look at armor. Gonna get him the ghost graph. How many? We have eight legacy points, but uh, mind. Oh, uh, that would cost us five then. Uh... Then I'll, then I'll get the uh, tier one instead. It won't cost nearly as much. If we spend four legacy points, we could get Thanatos the best scythe. Uh, so let's do. All right. Do we wanna? One for one extra damage. Meh. Not worth four legacy points. Alright, I think our weapons are. Uh, well, bow. Minus six, hell no. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good for now. Next time we'll focus on armor. Well, next time I have a feeling we're gonna be retiring a few members anyway. <laughs> Alright, next. <clears throat> Look at these things! They're beautiful in their own way, but they're not people. They were never meant to be. And you think you can stick your soul into one and whatever comes out the other end will still be you? What's the alternative? Death? If it comes to that, yes! Because having some abomination following me around, insisting it was you? For eternity? That's worse torture than any honest loss. Honest? You're being selfish. You can't see beyond your own conception of what a person is. This could usher in a new era of humanity and... It wouldn't be humanity! I'll change your mind. I shouldn't have to. But because I apparently care about you, for whatever reason I can't remember at the moment. Drac, where are you going? Come back! I want you to know that just by coming here, I've put your land at risk. The Morthagi erupt when they catch wind of any of us. Well, then I won't waste your time. I'll just ask directly. Can you make me into one of you? I've built most of a body based on my studies of your late friend. But I'll need your help to finish the job. I'm a skilled metal worker and was a decent fighter in my younger days as well. I know I can be an asset to you and your people. No one has called us people in a long time. Are you certain? It's not a safeguard against death. You've seen that firsthand. I don't need a safeguard. 
I just need a way to hold my own decay. How old were you when you became enduring? As old as me? No. Then you don't know what it's like. Nobody does until they get here. You grow up thinking your elders just like complaining about their aches and weariness. You think they like sitting in the same chair day after day watching clouds pass. You don't realize that they do it because anything more has become impossible. I don't want to reach that point if there's a better way. A better way. Then you have understood what others have not. It feels good to have someone understand. Come with me. We will make our best effort. A reasonable amount of time later. And Umoth. Benedos. I've been talking with a carpenter from Herambode. They're getting overwhelmed with people driven out of surrounding regions by the Morthagi. The Black Storm needs to help. I assume you don't mean helping them build houses. As wholesome as that sounds, no. The shadows deepen. Oh boy. Things proceed. Alright, so it's just destroy all Morthagi sites. Indeed. There's a recruitment opportunity if we want to get more people into the group. <laughs> well, since we're going to be split into two groups now, Numoth. Yeah. yeah, we want Numoth to have some backup. So if we send Numoth just to do a recruit and the rest of everyone else just continues on. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick him on that. Ah. Then gather everyone else close to where. Uh, yeah, it's Song, Song Spring off. Or blow gas works. Actually, mm. there's also send Prairie. Here, yeah. send people to scout that. Yeah, send the main group to scout that. It's the technically the closest one. Yeah, if we if we create like a B team behind us until until we retire and they take over, um... <laughs> I could I could get another Panara because <laughs> I have my old Panara from my previous game, <laughs> but no. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, Numoth is yours, so I think I'll make this guy mine. <sighs> All right. Yeah, point. We make a B team that. Whenever we scout an area and take it, we can just send the main team straight on to scout the next area while the B team comes in and secures it. Speed things up. Mm. Particularly the time of that. Mm. So, where are you making this guy? Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think I've got it. Who are you making him? Making a she. Who are you making a she? I am making Eileen Crowfinder. Who? A character I played in a family DD campaign. I see. She was a ranger. Based off of Eileen from Bloodborne. Let's see here, her personality. She was not at all a hothead. She was definitely snarky.
let's see here under hooks. Dark heart, gritty, and mysterious. Just gonna change our hairstyle one more time, really quick, to something a little different. Thirty-four years since. Panara, Gabron, Panarabia left their homestead. Indeed. Alright. Hmm. Don't try to play it down. I've heard about you. And you know what stands out to me? Our stunning bravery and good looks. Um, apart from that. What stands out is what these monsters can do. Mechanical workers that never sleep. Giant bugs that can control dreams and thoughts. Gorgons that can do whatever it is Gorgons do. What if we could harness some of that power? Couldn't do any worse with it than they already have. It's monster craft. No getting around that. Probably built upon a slab of unsavory rituals and blood sacrifices and such horrors. I just don't want to tell my children that it was all there, but I was too timid to fight for it. Well, whatever your motive, if you can shoot him, you can loot him. We'll train you up. We already have, like, two warriors and two hunters, so Mystic would probably work well for Eileen. Probably. All right. Speaking of, before we continue for a second, I just okay. want to check what new, you know, character traits are. Maybe a check. Okay. He's a broken heart. Clown and inhabited. <laughs> Panara, Panara is like a. I'm just checking Panara's relationships, and it's interesting where she's sitting at. Personality. He's oh, he's a goofish romantic. Eileen will be mine to control. All right, we're ready to resume. Yeah, go. All right, main team, let's kick some ass. Let's go. How do you have a look at how old they even are? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a Raleigh would rise before the others and wander along an interesting creek or cliffside. The quiet and the cold air could make one forget what violence the days ahead might hold. And you could use the exercise, too. There was no wind this particular morning, only the rustle of the occasional bird. Which is why it was surprising to suddenly hear, Ah! A hero! I'm assuming it's a guy. If I'm wrong, I'll adapt. Don't be humble now. You know how I could tell? You have the look of a hero. Very impressive. And that's half the battle, isn't it? Splendor that can crush hope at a glance. I don't know if I'd say fully half. And the rarer, the more exclusive the splendor, the greater the impact, right? Which is why I'm willing to show you, and only you... Only you? Right, only you. Good. These! <laughs> you stride in sporting one of these beauties, let me tell you. Gorgeous won't know what hit him. Gorgeous. You sell... tails? Only the finest. Squirrels were glorified rats before they came to me, and now, great publicity. The peacock? That was me too. What's a peacock? You'll know it when you see it. Go on, browse the featured items, see which paints the best picture of you. I... 
Wait, what do you want? I don't carry much money out here. I don't deal in common money, my friend. Think of filthy grains of sand slipping through the world's hourglass? <laughs> no, indeed. I can't help but notice you have a particularly useless coin-shaped accessory, though. Uh, perhaps, uh. perhaps you'd be willing to part with that. Useless? Wait, it's magic or something, isn't it? Nothing of the sort. It fits in some shrine slot somewhere. No, completely useless. Well, now I don't want to trade it. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, let's cut the act. You want to know why I need that coin and you don't? You want to hear the whole embarrassing story? Maybe. I'm in debt, okay? In debt to some particularly, particular lostlings. And this debt must be paid in particular coinage. How did you manage... How did you manage to get into... Please don't make me tell you that part. I was young. I wasn't thinking with my head. I was thinking... It's not important. He fucked In other me. words, he was young and he needed... Yeah, he was young and he needed the money. He was young and he needed the money. The important thing is that I've been stuck pulling this card from here to the nether flare trying to sell these things off so that I can be a free man by sometime next eternity. Ever tried to sell a tale to an angry lostling? Please, is there... Thing is probably his ex or something. Please, is there... There's gotta be one of these that sparks your interest. What do you think? Uh... Hmm. I'd imagine this will be an item. Or maybe... Something. Yeah. The thing is, he's already got a waste item. That's the belt. I mean, thinking, thinking about what they could potentially do. Skunk tail, I can imagine, give you some sort of ability to do with poison. Fox tail, probably speed. Whooping tail, also poison, but more of an attack rather than an area of effect. Or charity. I don't know. I'm also aware that in this game, if sometimes if you pick these things, you might turn into something. <laughs> yeah. Like you can turn into werewolves and throw people and shit. You know, just take the coin. Uh, I ain't taking that risk. All right. I'm not in the market for a tail, but you've suffered enough. What? No, I, I can't just take it. I have to sell you something. Those are the rules. These are the best tales I have. Are you sure you don't want one? I don't. You wanna you wanna know what I'd really like? What I've always wanted? What? That mushroom over there. <laughs> <laughs> this mushroom. Yes! If only there were someone around who could sell it to me. What? Oh, oh I see. Well, lucky for you, that's the last one we have in stock, and it's yours for the low, extremely reasonable price of... Ding! <laughs> I'll even throw in an enchantment for free! Smooth roads and sturdy wheels to you, my friend! And good luck with the Gorgons! And stay away from Lostlings! <laughs> <laughs> Worth it.